Ahoy, fellow anime enthusiasts! Today we're diving deep into the realm of character development and pitting villain Zack against other popular anime shows. It's a battle of the best! Now, you may be wondering, what sets Vinland Saga apart from the rest? The answer lies in its ability to blend historical realism with compelling character journeys. Let's dive right in and explore the depths of Vinland Saga's characters, shall we? Naruto. When it comes to character development, we often see the Takano Jutsu approach in shows like Naruto. Sure, it has its place, but let's face it, sometimes it feels a bit uh, childish. I mean, how many times can a heart filled conversation save the day? Like, imagine Thorfinn say, Yo, Askeladd, let's sit down and talk about our feelings instead of swinging swords at each other, fam. You see, the talk no jutsu meme has become a staple of Naruto's character. While it's true that communication is important, Villain Saga takes a different approach. It explores the complexities of human nature, the consequences of violence, and the power of genuine dialogue. In Villain Saga, talking things out has a different impact. It's not about endless speeches and idealistic ideals, it's about confronting harsh realities and the consequences of one's actions. It's about true growth and change. Attack on Titan now let's compare Villain Saga with other notable anime series. Take Attack on Titan, for example. While it's undeniably gripping and filled with intense action, the character development, particularly for certain side characters, can sometimes be overshadowed by the grandiose plot. Epic battles and heart-pounding action. But sometimes the character development can feel like it's hiding behind all that jaw-dropping spectacle. In Attack on Titan, some characters often go through situations where their individual self is evolving, but due to all of the external events, it seemed as if this self-reflection took a back seat. Sure, it makes for some intense drama, but we are left wondering, hey, what about their feelings and emotional journeys? Villain Saga, on the other hand, swoops in with a more sophisticated take on character development. This show dives headfirst into the minds of its characters, exploring their deepest motivations, fears, and vulnerabilities. Let's talk about Thorfinn, the main dude in Villain Saga. At first, he's all about revenge, ready to dish it out for his pops. But guess what? In season 2, he goes through a transformation that will make your jaw drop harder than an acorn falling on a squirrel's head. One Piece. And that's not forget One Piece, a beloved long-running series. While it boasts an incredible world-building and diverse cast, the pacing and focus on the main protagonist can limit the depth of certain characters. One Piece is an ocean of memorable characters, but some of them are like the extra toppings in a pizza, delicious but overshadowed. Characters like Usopp and Brooke are the life of the party, but sometimes they end up playing the role of background dancers. While Monkey D. Luffy steals the spotlight, it's like being the hype man for a pirate king. But hey, let's not discount Luffy's epic journey of growth. His development is very engaging and it's sometimes quite touching. However, the sheer length of the One Piece story is like a never-ending buffet, with so much to devour. There's only much time to dig deep into everyone's character arcs. It's like trying to explore an entire treasure island while also saving time for some epic pirate battles. Meanwhile, in Villain Saga, they take characters like Askeladd, Canute, and Thorkel and give them a personality makeover that will make even the fiercest Viking blush. Askeladd goes from the ruthless to relatable as we unravel his complex story, and it's like finding a hidden treasure chest of emotions. They dive so deep into their characters, they might as well be diving for sunken ships. So in the end, Villain Saga is like a Viking feast of character exploration, while One Piece is the ultimate pirate adventure where some characters become more like treasure hunt assistants. Demon Slayer in the wild world of Demon Slayer, we have Tanjiro, the demon slaying superstar. His mission? To avenge his family and save humanity from those blood-sucking baddies. Talk about dedication, but let's be real. His moral compass is as straight as a board. There's not much room for him to get tangled up in ethical dilemmas or question his life choices. He's like the poster child for my family comes first. The ultimate mama's boy with a katana. Now let's sail on over to the villain saga where things get as tangled as a viking's beard in Hurricane. We meet Thorfinn, a revenge-obsessed warrior in a quest to avenge his dear old dad. But hold on to your helmets, because as the story unfolds, Thorfinn takes a wild U-turn. Suddenly he's like, huh, wait a minute, maybe violence isn't the answer. Talk about a character growth that hits harder than a berserker's axe. 
But that's not all, folks. Villain Saga throws in a whole cast of characters with more complexities than a Viking math equation. Take Askeladd, for example. He's the morally ambiguous Viking leader who is all about survival and a better life. He's like a walking, talking gray area, making you question everything you thought you knew about good and evil. It's like trying to navigate a Viking longship through a maze of conflicting ideologies. So, in Demon Slayer, we've got a one-truck minded hero with a heart of gold, while Valen Saga serves up a character buffet with enough moral dilemmas and conflicted motivations to give any Viking an identity crisis. Get ready for twists turns, and more character complexities than you can swing an enchanted sword at. My Hero Academia In My Hero Academia, it's like watching characters develop at the speed of the superhero on caffeine. Blink, and they've gone from I hate broccoli to broccoli is my life. It's like they hit the character growth button and fast forward, leaving us scratching our heads and wondering, did they just level up or chug a character development potion? For example, Endeavors' character development is rooted in deep-seated psychological issues, such as his desire for recognition and his abusive treatment for his family. Endeavor undergoes a significant transformation, from being the ruthless and cold-hearted hero to someone who acknowledges his past mistakes and strives for redemption. This change is relatively quick, considering the long-held beliefs and behaviors associated with this character. Villain Saga is completely different with its PhD in character development. They take their time like a snail in slow motion, dissecting every nook and cranny of a character's psyche. They are like the therapists of anime, digging deep into the motivations, flaws, and growth of these Viking warriors. It's like they have unlocked the cheat code for character development gradual progression, genuine connections, and conversations that make Oprah proud. Villain Saga doesn't just scratch the surface, it goes deeper than a mole digging for treasure. The characters have these meaningful heart-to-heart -heart talks that are so profound. They should be getting royalties from Hallmark call -outs. You're left thinking, Wow, these Vikings have better therapy sessions than I do! So, while My Hero Academia might have superheroes with the speed of the Flash, Villain Saga takes a leisurely stroll sipping tea and giving us character development that feels more satisfying than eating a well-cooked turkey leg. They're like the master chefs of storytelling, carefully crafting each character's growth to perfection. Fairy Tale now let's talk about Fairy Tale, the anime that's like a repetitive dance routine. Although the anime is super fun to watch, sometimes you feel like the characters are caught in a never-ending loop of facing the same challenges over and over again. It's as if they had a GPS that only knows one route. Make friends, fight bad guys, repeat. And oh boy, some characters in Fairy Tale are as resistant to personal growth as a pair of jeans after a buffet. They just stay stuck in their ways, refusing to level up their character arcs or overcome their flaws. Take Grayful Buster as an example. Gray's arc is as predictable as anything. He starts off with a tragic backstory and a grudge against the big bad guy. But as the series progresses, you'd expect some significant personal growth, right? Well, brace yourself because it's like watching a nice cube melt at a glacial pace. He's constantly battling his inner demons, but it's like he's using a plastic sword instead of unleashing his full potential. On the contrary, Villain Saga embraces the consequences of violence and the toll it takes on individuals. It showcases the psychological and emotional impact of warfare and the struggle for redemption. This adds layers of depth to the character's development and provides a more realistic portrayal of their growth as they grapple with the consequences of their actions. And that's a wrap. The ultimate character development showdown, Villain Saga, emerges as a Viking ship sailing in a league of its own. With its exploration of emotions, connections, and profound character growth, Villain Saga sets a high bar for anime character development. So, if you're yearning for an anime that takes character development to new heights and plunges into the depths of its characters, Villain Saga is the treasure you've been searching for. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing anime content that will make you laugh, cry, and question the very fabric of reality. Check out some of our previous videos on the screen right now, and this is Anu Yaro singing off. Peace!